Hey, I'm Lo, and welcome back to Outer Worlds. When last we had left Captain Lo Hawkins, eh, we uh, we came to Edgewater. <laughs> that was about it. Uh, I spent a lot of time reading. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that's why. That's why we didn't really do much last last time. <laughs> I I came to Edgewater. I met a guy who, uh, who was really paranoid about, um, robots, I think. And he wanted us to go kill some robots for him. And then I spent 15 to 20 minutes reading all the items in a vending machine. <laughs> and then I died. I got killed by a fucking mole rat, basically. <laughs> Uh, except they're not called mole rats in this game. What are they called? Sprats, I think. They kind of look like opossums, don't they? They kind of look like uh, little lizard opossums. Anyway, big, big mummy uh, lizard opossum killed me. Um, and then I came here to Edgewater, where we are still looking for... Uh, an engine component, I think, for our ship. I can't remember what it was called. Let's check the journal. Power regulator. There we go. Yeah. Cool. Alrighty. So, yes. Um, don't think anything needs repairing. Oop. Fridge. Frozen dinner. Bread noodles. Oh yes, I decided, that's the new thing actually, I decided to, uh, to install a mod that increases the durations. It just didn't sit right with me, it just didn't, like, seem correct, or, I don't know. I mean, I probably should have waited longer to, like, actually get into the gameplay to see how it plays out, but what really bothers me is that these items are also my food and my drink. Um, it, there's not like separate food and drink items that I have to eat and use to, to keep these attributes up. So I just feel a little cheated, right? Like if I've got to eat nanas uh, in order to keep my food up, let's at least get a decent buff out of it, right? And especially what's annoying is none of these things tell me how much they fill these bars up by. So, like, I could drink some water and n have no idea how much it's going to fill in. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It feels like a, it will definitely make the game easier, but um, we're still... You know, we're still playing on Supernova difficulty. Arguably, I feel like these are um, these durations now are too long, right? They basically got buffed from 15 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, and two minutes to, uh, I think, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and 30 minutes, or 15, 10, 15, 20, and 30 minutes or something. I can't remember. Basically... The minimum duration now, I think, is 10 minutes, or maybe 5 minutes, but yeah. That, to me, that now seems too long. I'd prefer it if, it, if all of them were kept in the sort of 5 to 10 minute range, maybe, but um, there's no options in the mod to adjust the numbers, so. Uh, I'd rather have them be over than under, uh, if that makes sense. Spacious Choice... When life gives you lemons, consider it a free trial from your friends at the Spacer's Choice. Is that their motto? <laughs> That's a terrible motto. <laughs> Edgewater Saltuna Cannery, a Spacer's Choice property. Maintenance division logs. Welcome. Holcom P. There are currently three, three open trouble tickets. Select an option to proceed. Trouble tickets 65565, 65587, priority, and 65588. I guess we'll do the priority one. Uh, 
Priority issue. Trouble ticket 65587. Tobson R. Summary. Failure of main cannery production line at heat processing. Status. Open. Priority. Executive. Steps to reproduce. Start up production line according to schedule S46701 A. Observe processing of cans. Follow first batch to heat processing stage. One or more loud popping noises. Smoke. Smell of burning saltuna. Overheat klaxon on monitor 6. Flames jet from exhaust ports. Automatic shutdown. Maintenance notes. Likely as not, Bess got the indigest... Best got indigestion from being made to eat something she ain't made to. Again, heading... Again? Again. Heading over now. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I th so, yeah, these are like bug reports then. I thought these were like side quests. This is, uh, yeah, I guess problems in the cannery. <laughs> what? Hang on, let's read this one. AG loader serial failure on startup. Steps to reproduce. Turn on engine. Try it again. Try it again. Kick the loader. Curse injured toes. I have to enter, enter a minimum of eight steps. Try it again. It makes a rattling noise. Maintenance notes. Dang it, Clancy. I just got you back on your feet two weeks ago. Not that you've got feet, but you know what I mean. Sounds like his status off axis again. We'll clean out and reset. Clancy's guts got caught and pulled out. Jesus. Likely on account of somebody trying to restart. Oh, okay. Clancy is the machine, not, not a person. <laughs> Someone trying to restart him over and over again. Need to rewind all the coiling in number four. K's K. Sata's working, but there's nothing. There's something else off. Have to wait until it's quiet to spin him up for a listen. 65588 Miller L. This issue has been open for zero, zero days. Summary. Damned mechanicals. Priority automatically reset to low by executive admin rule applied to Tobson R. Steps to reproduce. Look northwest. I said look nor northwest blasted useless translator. Near scrap pile. Could be northeast from town, I guess. Observe mechanical clanking about all menacing like. See it? It's right there. Huh. Oh. North? Yeah, northwise. I said look northwise. Blasted. Maybe it maybe it did mean northwest. Is this a is this an unmarked quest? Like I didn't get um let's see journal side quest. Yeah, I didn't get a quest log here. But this this looks like directions to go and do something. So if we go to the Damned Mechanicals, Miller L. Is that the person that uh, was like paranoid? Oops. Uh, tap journal. Die robot. Lug. Yeah, L Miller L. Okay. Okay, so we do have that then, I guess. Hmm. Wonder why he was overridden. Maybe everyone else thinks he's crazy as well. Okay. Hmm. Wish we had some better rations. Hello. Constable. Constable Rise. Or Reese? Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in Frontier Justice. The office is writing a promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. P what? <laughs> Purchase them? Uh, yeah, I think they are mercenaries, then. If if they only investigate things if you pay them, <laughs> they must be a, some kind of mercenary faction. 
Uh, if you need help with your marauder problem, I'm for hire. I've got questions for you if you don't mind. Yeah, I'm for hire. As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roll it. Hmm. I was about to say, why, why do you want their fingers? But yeah, that actually explains it. Uh, I've got questions. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. Okay. Does the name Phineas Wells mean anything to you? Uh, I don't think I should ask her about him, considering he said he was probably a wanted criminal. Uh, who do you work for? Spacious Choice or Edgewater? If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found anything amusing in my life. I don't serve Edgewater. Edgewater and the entire region of Emerald Vale serve Spacer's Choice. Hmm. That sounds like slavery. So basically you're a bureaucrat? Who does Spacer's Choice answer to? Who do they answer to? Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which occupies a seat on the Halcyon Holdings Corporation. Also okay. known as the board. I must admit it bothers me that you don't already know this. <laughs> so basically a bureaucrat. Flattery won't get you anywhere with me. The bureaucracy is a noble profession. <laughs> all of us are gifted enough to serve in it. <laughs> okay. It's one of these kinds of things. I get it. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm beginning to understand. <laughs> uh, there was one other thing. Something to report? No. Goodbye. Yeah, I don't think I should mention Phineas. Okay, yeah, this is stealing. Spaces choice property, terminal access. Welcome, Constable Rays. Bounty records. All bounties processed by the Edgewater Constabulary have authorized have been authorized by Space's Choice. Open boundary bounties. I guess these are the guys I'm after. Wanted. Uh, Gil Antrim. Thanks for the uh, nickname. <laughs> I can never. I I have I have seen that name pronounced before. Uh, I've heard it pronounced before, but I can't remember how it's pronounced. Uh, so yeah, Gil Antrim. Background: Former Spacer's Choice associate mechanic, terminated from his position. The Spacer's Choice Department of Retirement, Termination, and Restitution has filed a writ of execution for Gil Antrim, effective immediately. Some of you may remember Gil from his days in our cannery. Please be advised that Space of Choice, Space's Choice no longer recognizes Mr. Antrim as a member of its valued family. Space's Choice advises its workers in good standing to remain in good standing by disabusing themselves of any sympathy, allegiance, or memory toward Mr. Antrim. Generous bounty, payment on delivery, must be able to sign your own name. Huh. Wanted to dock May Maybell Burres. Uh, or Burgess. Uh, former Spaces Choice physician abandoned her duties and disappeared from Ed Edgewater at large and considered dangerous. The Spaces Choice Department of Retirement Termination and Restitution has filed a writ of execution for Doc Maybell Burgess, effective immediately. Doc Maybell is wanted for three counts of larceny, two for each parcel of stolen Adrena time, and one for depriving the outpost of its f official physician. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting crime. <laughs> Generous bounty. Payment on delivery. Must be able to sign your own name. Wanted. Bertie Cotton, former vicar acting on behalf of the Order of Scientific Inquiry, stationed t uh, to the Edgewater Vicarage, suffered psychological breakdown upon showing symptoms of plague at large and dangerous. Uh, 
the space's choice department of retirement termination and restitution has filled a writ of execution for Bernie Bertie Cotton, effective immediately. The order of scientific inquiry has declined a response. Vicar Cotton's sermons are considered defunct and obsolete. Space's choice advises purging them from your memory with the help of Zero G, Zero G Brew, an ale that's good for you for what ails you. Or an ale that's good for what ails you, I see. Generous bounty, payment on delivery, must be able to sign your name, see Constable Ra Ray's. Just a cell. Huh. Okay. Anything on here? No. Alrighty. Did that I'm in log as a quest? Yes. Fistful of digits. Kill her, bring her back, kill, kill, kill. Okay. Feeling pretty low these days. I know how you feel. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a kind of. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. There's definitely a kind of a Firefly vibe to this uh, place. I don't know if it'll last throughout the whole game, but certainly, 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 this place is very uh, space cowboy. E. Been eating nothing but salt tuna for a year. Place you got your help. Or, uh, I guess <laughs> I am, <laughs> I am an anime character. I guess I should uh, reference more, uh, <laughs> anime stuff. Uh, it's very Trigun. It's very Cowboy Bebop. Mm. <laughs> uh, Bertie. Okay, these are just what they look like. Is this the same as what was written before? No, this is not the same. So that's Gil, Bertie, and Doc. Uh, disappeared from Edgewater with two parcels of Idra in a tie. It's very similar information to what we read in the terminal. Wanted for destruction of company property, murder, vandalism, and unlicensed practice of medicine. Unauthorized use of me medical supplies and sedition. Murder. Theft and unauthorized use of medical supplies. Yeah, okay. Bumblebee Brewing Co. Hmm. That's a cool looking future barrel. <laughs> hey. Esther Blaine. I've got some time. What do you do here? Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Okay. Bye. <laughs> hmm. Oops. Wrong button. How do I put it away? There we go. Yeah, bar. Can I sit? Can read the latest report? No. Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. If only. I don't know you. Amelia Kim. Uh. Lie. I am Alex Hawthorne, captain of the Un Unreliable. I don't think I should say that, just in case Hawthorne is also wanted. Um, I'm low. Amelia Kim, Spacer's Choice Beverage Dispenser. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. Do I have to be an employee to drink here? Uh, yeah, you're not going to serve me a drink? Or something going on here I should know about? And what a fine establishment it is. Could have fooled me. All I see are a bunch of drunken slobs and one ugly bartender. Wow. Rude. Um, 
And what a fine establishment it is. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Hmm. Fine by me. Let's see what's on top. Coming right up. Your merchant skill is equal to the value of the best dialogue skill. And is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. Oh, great. That means I'm going to use intimidate to get best prices. <laughs> Hunger, you're hungry and you need to eat. In supernova difficulty, you need to eat every few hours to prevent starvation. Consuming a food item will clear your hunger and prevent starvation for a few hours. Oh, it just fills it completely. It doesn't matter how... It... Okay, hmm. We'll see how we get on then. I, I might remove the mod if it seems too overpowered. Uh, without eating, your hunger gets worse over time in four stages. Allowing yourself to fall below maximum healthy production levels is corporate theft. Jeez. Uh, trip teas, plain and pure water. We do not have a lot of money. Um, I should probably prioritize doing quests, actually, just for the early game so that we can get some cash. Had your rations yet? Yep. Two whole cans of salt tuna. Emerald Vale General Store. Hey. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. Hmm. <laughs> um, I need to fix a ship. Do you know where I can find any parts? Let me see what you're selling. I have some questions. I have some questions. Go right ahead. Uh, what's your take on this place? Anyone I should watch out for? Other than yourself? Definitely the vicar. Don't get me wrong. He seems a decent man. Cut from church cloth. Knows his scriptures. But there's something about him that bothers me. Like he's not one of us. Sometimes I suspect he doesn't even want to be here. Hmm. Is that the new vicar or the one that left and is now wanted? What's your take on this place? What, you mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This a test? Am I being tested right now? It's, uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on Terra 2. Terra 2, okay, that's what this place is. The planet is called. Uh, telling yourself that won't make it's true. I'm glad you're so optimistic. You can't be serious. No one in their right mind would live, want to live here. The blister on my ass is prettier than Edgewater. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you're being so optimistic. I have every reason to be. I caught a real break working in a place like this. I don't get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? Um, actually there was. Go right ahead. Anyone I should watch out for? I keep a few paces between myself and Miss Holcomb, the town mechanic since her dear father left the workforce. No ill intent in her, mind. Just a queer sort, restless, scatterbrained, inclined to do first and think after, if you take my meaning. Interesting. Any, that everyone I should know about? Amelia. Definitely Amelia Kemp. I advise against stepping foot in her drinking establishment altogether. I'm too late on that Word front. Is, they're going to replace her with an auto-mechanical barkeep. She's... What's the word? Obsolete. You don't want to associate yourself with that kind of person. Well, that's just rude. Uh... Huh. Work your jaw on some spacer's chaw. Can I... Have I lost the ability? Yeah, okay, there we go. I need to fix a ship. Do you know where I can find a parts? You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. Read the tops of the Hmm. Okay, Use let me see what you're ears. selling. Yeah, same stuff as vending machines. Hmm. How odd.
I guess normally the, uh... Normally the difference between a vendor and a vending machine, then, is that you can't sell to them, but... Uh... I guess the perk lets you change that. <laughs> Hello. Work fortifies the spirit. Hmm. This is a... This is a very... Christian looking... Science religion you got here. <laughs> yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Uh, I'm looking for power regulator. How did you know I'm an outsider? What sort of spiritual advice do you offer here? I just thought of something else I needed to be doing. How did you know I was an outsider? Not to put too fine a point on it, but your choice of wardrobe is not precisely common hereabouts. Yeah, that's also, fair. you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy. Like a trapped animal. <laughs> I'm no animal, I just, and I don't like being insulted by you and your highfalutin language. <laughs> Let's get back on track. I just thought of something else I needed to be doing. Um... You lack the distinctive worker gaze, usually either like a trapped animal. But he's saying I don't look like that. Um, yeah, this seems more like intimidate than dumb, so I think this is one of those cases where I'm not going to cho choose this option, uh, even though it's available. Let's get back on track. What would you like to discuss? Um, what sort of spiritual advice do you offer? They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. Uh, I was actually asking what your religion was about. Seriously, that's what you're selling here? I was asking what your religion is all about. The OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand plan. What does Aussie stand for? Dumb. How much to put in a good word for me with the Grand Architect? You know, unofficial like. Yeah, see, I like this one. <laughs> Let's go with that. You know, unofficial like. That's not how it works. The Grand Architect has no concern for us beyond setting the plan in motion. <laughs> I don't get it. What's your part in all this besides counseling people? I think I'm done here. I don't get it. Obviously. Look, if we can figure out how to read the grand plan, we can more perfectly align ourselves to it, bringing everyone peace. Hmm. Really? How does that work? Tell me more. Well, first there's the matter of the secret blood rites and animal sacrifices. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Seriously, though. To truly understand the metaphysics involved takes years of study and contemplation. <laughs> I'm looking for a power regulator. Mechanical Tom <laughs> Fool is well out of my purview. I suggest you take such matters to Mr. Thompson in the cannery. Oh, and a word of warning. If you're considering wandering around outside the safety of the town, you'd best be cautious. Uh, I've been outside and I'm not impressed. I can handle myself better than a vicar. And why is that? Marauders are about. Though if you are planning on venturing outside, I do have a proposition that may interest you. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. 
Hmm. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Hmm. Hans? <laughs> Why would a vicar be after a banned heretical book? You assume you'll... I assume you'll want to burn it once you get your hands on it. Dumb. Handsome? What kind of weirdness are you all into around here? All very fascinating, I'm sure, but I've got to be going. Uh... Yeah, again, this is a kind of weird one, right? Like, for dumbness. Like, this is... A handsome sum. Uh, I mean, it's a turn of phrase, right? I don't know. Okay, yeah, let's let's just let's see what the response to this kind of dumb one is, right? So, handsome, what kind of weirdness are you all into around here? What? Uh, you seem the perfect type to go blindly into the wild on a suicidal quest. I'm looking for a journal, a handwritten book with the name M. Bokonu on the cover. I'll pay you to find it. Okay. <laughs> he just, yeah, okay. That's sort of the response I thought he would have, yeah. <laughs> um, just wanted to check, I guess. Need to know a little bit more about the book before I agree to this. I assume you'll want to burn it once you get hands on it. Um, I don't care why he wants it. I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Okay. Yeah, this is a very um, Christian hey church-shaped. Don't see you around here too often. Science fiction oh, religion. I just seem to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. What have you got to confess? You ain't thinking hmm. of deserting, are you? What? No, 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 no. And I resent the accusation. Wasn't nothing but a question. Do excuse me. I must be on my way. Verity to you. Hmm. Our place in the universe is fixed. Pick up Aussie vial. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, weird. Like, when they said, uh, you know, thank, thank the law or something, or thank law that you're okay, you know, they're saying it instead of, ooh, weapon parts. They're saying that instead of, like, thank God, right? But it is pretty much a one-to-one... -one I wasn't I wasn't expecting it to be a one to one just like religious uh what's the word like filing off the serial numbers <laughs> uh yeah, bit cartridge claw rake armor parts bypass shunt nice well it might not be one to one but this is very you know you've got a You've got a a, a cross-shaped church. Oh, that's neat, actually. There's like a telescope on the roof. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Maybe it's a little deeper than that, but certainly the surface uh, glance looks a lot like Christianity. <laughs> I mean, they've even got vicars, right? Like... The names of titles and stuff were very similar. Grand Architect and all that shit. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna go up to the... Uh, or go into the Sultuna Academy. And head on up to see... The guy about... 
Getting a pot. Or do you think I should... Oh wow, this is a whole... This is a whole factory. Wow. Do you think I should go do those side quests first, actually? Because... Like I said, I need the money. I'm gonna need to head back to the ship at some point as well to uh, rest. Unless I can rest somewhere in town, but the prompt said I can only rest on my ship. Space is choice. You've tried the rest, now try... You've tried the best, now try the rest. That's also a terrible slogan. I don't understand that. <laughs> Notifications. Lost and found. Logs. Found. One. One. Left hand. Severed at the wrist. Some bone damage. People, this is our second unscheduled amputation in as many months. Please exercise caution and safety around machinery. Maintenance fees will be deducted from your pay. Huh. Only you can protect fourth quarter profits. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, this is all stealing. Employer rights. Under the Biased Labor Standards Act, wage determined by merit of your work. Overtime may result in higher pay if the quality of said work is considered exemplary. Your employer has the right to dock your pay should you damage any f facilities or equipment. It is your responsibility, not your employer's, to avoid workplace hazards. Halcyon Colony Department of Labor. Yeah, I think that's all. Stealing. Loose lips, pink slips. I don't get that one. Sprat hide. Yeah, look at them. They kind of... They kind of look like a cross between an anglerfish, a lizard, and an opossum. <laughs> Um, yeah, still trying to decide which quest to do first. I don't think I'm likely to get paid for getting the... Oh man, this place is massive. I don't think I'm likely to get paid for finding ship parts. Um, but the only thing I'm likely to spend money on right now, unless the ship parts cost money, which they probably will, uh, or else I'll have to do some other quest to get them. Um, but I do have a decent amount of food and drink right now, actually, so maybe it's fine. Okay, does dehydrated water give me water or food? Let's find out. F. Water, okay. No, that didn't fill in the whole water. So it lied, or I misunderstood. But yeah, that didn't fill in the whole bar. So... Ah, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, there's, an, there's like no easy way to tell how much each item is going to fill in then. So, if I'm basically guessing, then I want the benefits to kind of last a bit longer, you know? Pick up power regulator. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I should have guessed it would do that. <laughs> uh, running self-examination. Help yourself to a refreshing tin of Spacer's Chore while you wait. Power source. Spacer's Choice Electrical Transformer. Transformer status. Responsive. Power regulator. Responsive. Query. Geomal geomal thermal <laughs> ge geothermal facility. <laughs> The Emerald Vale region is powered by the Spacer's Choice Geothermal Facility. Spacer's Choice is proud to bring the colonists of Halcyon moderately innovative <laughs> technology at a reasonable price. <laughs> Spacer's Choice, the best you can afford. Oh, I disengaged the power regulator. Unable to comply, the power regulator unit may not be disengaged whilst the transformer is active. Okay, can I shut down the transformer? 
Failure. Transformer shutdown protocols. Non-operational. Query shutdown protocols. In compliance with Space's Choice Engineering and development policies, shutdown protocols have been disabled on all transformers. This is to prevent illegal tampering, upgrading, or theft of proprietary technology. Warning, please avoid attempting to modify or tamper with Space's Choice electrical transformers whilst the power is active. Doing so may lead to death, catastrophic injury, and irreparable damage to the transformer. Hmm. Is that what I need? Power regulator? I'm so bad at remembering things. Yes, power regulator. Okay. Huh. I just... I, <laughs> I just tried to pick this thing up without even knowing what it was whilst it was still turned on. Just because it looked cool. Like, <laughs> it wasn't even, like, intentionally thinking about it. <laughs> Such an idiot. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I guess that's what I need. Yeah, there's probably no way they're just gonna give that to me for free or let me take it without challenging me. Hmm. Hmm. Where is everyone? Is time passing? I can't remember if this game has a day and night cycle. It probably does. Um, yeah, where is everyone? Where's the elevator? Where was the canteen? Over here somewhere, right? Yeah, no one's here. Weird. Maybe it's... Uh, it's kind of hard to tell what time it is. Oh, hello. Maybe it's like actually late at night. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. I'm guessing you're the foreman? I'll let you get back to work. You the foreman? Foreman Granger. Mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. I'll let you get back to work. Hmm. Yeah, nobody's around. Hmm. Terminal access, company notifications. From the office of Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. Symptoms of infection have now reached a critical mass. I have instructed our staff to transform the old domicile into a sick house. Plague is a reality of life on the frontier, and as spacers, we are expected to face up to reality. And the reality is that we do not carry enough medicine to treat all of you. Medical treatment is a privilege, not a right. We must strive every day to demonstrate our worthy worthiness of that privilege. If you find yourself suffering the symptoms of insip incipient plague... The best thing you can do for yourself and your family is to don your jumpers and come on to work. Really? <laughs> Jesus. Work fortifies the spirit. Physical illness recapitulates spiritual weakness. God. Or, I guess I should say, law. <laughs> I'm not going to start saying law. <laughs> uh, hold pick. For four, does this mean four seconds or that it needs four picks? One, two, three, four. Yeah, maybe that does mean four seconds. Criminal activities, trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal. Avoid being seen if you want to engage without consequence. Huh. Did I get seen? Hmm. Let's take them. And do stolen items get marked as stolen? I don't think so. Huh. 
hard to tell. Oh, the Aussie vial is a quest item. Tastes like enlightenment. This might look nice in one of the crew's rooms on the unreliable. Huh. How do I know that? <laughs> uh, Captain's identification is given to you by Ada after the unfortunate passing of Alex Hawthorne. This cartridge identifies you as the registered captain of the unreliable. Don't think I read that before. Hmm. Okay. So... Yeah, is there no cameras in here? Guide to Mechanical Engineering Volume 2. Actually, I don't think that was stealing, was it? No, it was. Steel spaces chore. Bypass shunt. Yeah, are things, um... Are things not getting marked as stolen? Yeah, I think they're not, huh. Claw rake. Improvised weapon. It's like a normal rake, only smaller, and with claws. 22 damage versus 36 damage. Okay, let's mark that as junk. Um... Yeah, okay. Right, so stealing things is not really a big deal. Like, you don't have to find a fence or anything. Huh. So it's just as long as you don't get caught, you can steal whatever you want. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll start stealing things more often. I guess that's true of theft in real life as well. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, if you don't get caught, you can steal whatever you want. Hmm. <laughs> um. Oh, Jesus, this is a terrifying elevator. I do not like the way it jiggles. The uh. grease <laughs> monkey, uh, Argo. Let's quick save. Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's, uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Are we putting spats in? I say we. <laughs> Are they putting spats in? Is that what they're called? Because we saw a bunch of... Yeah. Yeah, no, they must be, right? We we only saw sprats. That's what they're called, sprats. We, I, just, I just connected those dots. We only saw sprats in the cannery. No fish. Huh. Well, I guess sprats do kind of look like anglerfish, like I said, but they're probably not counting them as fish. Hello. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. Parvati. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. You read, I was told I should talk to you. You must be the town boss. I'll wait until you're finished. Yeah, let's be polite. I'll wait till you're finished. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just old. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do better. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. <laughs> my apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? Um, we can start with introductions. I'm low. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I'm not an employee. 
Yeah, uh, I think you may have the wrong idea about me. Uniform? What are you talking about? I don't work for Space of Choice. I think you may have the wrong idea about me. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Uh, my ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator, or I don't plan on staying long. I don't know how long I'm planning on staying, but my ship needs repairs, and I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But... I happen to know That's what she said, one. isn't it? And I happen to know exactly she how She said you he's not going to be keen on it. And he's like, yeah, I'm not keen on it. How dare you say I'm keen on it? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Uh, I can't let you have our power. I thought he was going to be mad because he interrupted us, but no, that's a weird thing to get mad about. Um... I can't let you have our power regulator, but I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know how you may retrieve it without frying yourself. Uh, frying myself? I kind of already know about that. Uh, let's hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Don't they need it? When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? That's a lot to ask of a stranger. Tell me about the geothermal plant. Yeah, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Tell me what I need to know. What a surprise. Never would have guessed. I don't think these people will take kindly to losing their power. You mean marauders? Marauders aren't people. Uh... I don't think these people will take too kindly to losing their power. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But, like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Tell me what I need to do. Why? If you want me to solve your deserter problem, I charge by the head. <laughs> Jeez. Why? Hedgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. How can I help? None of what you're telling me is my problem. I've seen Edgewater. I don't blame those workers for walking out. Ah, <sighs> oh, jeez. Um, let's be a little bit rude, honestly. I'm not getting a good vibe from this guy. None of what you're telling me is my problem. It's our problem, not yours, but I'm asking for your help. If those workers don't come back, Edgewater is going to collapse. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Couldn't I... Oh, I bet this will happen, actually. <laughs> I bet if I go and talk to Adelaide, she will... Uh, she, right? Yeah. She will, uh, like, tell me... Or she'll give me the option to come back here and steal the Edgewater power regulator instead. <laughs> um, how will I recognize Adelaide? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. These workers must have left town for a reason. What if Adelaide doesn't want to come back? 
You're asking me to cut off power to an entire community. Uh, what if Adelaide doesn't want to come back? Actually, no. Let's prod him. Let's see what he says about that, about his own town, right? These workers must have left for a reason. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. <sighs> can't make any promises, or I'll write read, I'll see what I can do to help you. I can't make any promises. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith, for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want a guide. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is Holcomb. talented and may prove useful to you. P. Holcomb. Pavati Holcomb. Didn't we hear that name before? I can't remember where. I want to say that's one of the wanted people, but it can't be because she wouldn't be here if she was one of the wanted people. Maybe it was... Maybe the vicar mentioned her, or the shopkeeper earlier? Hmm. Um, sure, I could use the company. Great! I got my wrenches, and diagnosticators, and hairpins, and engine tape, so... I'm all set! Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Let's get going. Oh. C and P new manager seminar companions. You've gained a companion. They are characters that join you in your adventures and help you in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. They increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companion combat abilities with the inspiration skill. Learn more about your companions in the ledger. Some people may require completing another quest before they will assist you. You can check your quest log for dependencies. Uh. Can't wait, what? Dependencies? Codex? Uh. What, what are our new quests? Let's see. Vicar Maximilian de Soto has asked you to find a banned heretical book, the journal of M. Baconu. Max says the journal was last possessed by a book collector whose residence was part of a small community directly north of Edgewater. He's marked the location on your map. Uh, Phineas needs your help. Right, yeah. Divert the power from the geothermal plant. You've learned that you are... That there are power regulators in both the Edgewater Cannery and a botanical lab elsewhere in the region, but neither can be removed unless power is routed away from them. Travel to the region's geothermal plant and route the power away from one of the locations. Reed asked you to deliver a message to a woman named Adelaide McDevitt before you head to, into the geothermal plant. Excuse me. Uh, workers are... Abandoning the town of Edgewater, Reed Thompson, Edgewater's administrator, wants you to force these deserters to return to town by shutting off their power. Deliver Reed's message. Reed asked you to deliver a message to Adelaide and her deserters. Come back to town uh, because he's cutting off their power. Adelaide and her people are camping out in the botanical lab north of Edgewater. Uh, set active. I see. Cool. Imagery, character... Oh, Pavati gets her own tab. Cool. T&L makes the best gear for you and your friends and family. The Companion Ledger. This Companion Ledger shows you everything you need to know about your companions. You can see their skills, stats, status effects, and gear. 
To change your companion's gear, first select the item you want to swap out, then choose a compatible item to replace it with. You can also change how they behave in combat by selecting their preferred weapon, follow distance, and aggressiveness. Cool. So she's got a pistol and a big hammer. Hmm. That's a one-handed weapon. Damage shock. Leave it to Space's choice to make a hammer and then remind people that it's good to hit things with it. By the way, by the way, this hammer is really good at hitting things. <laughs> okay. Uh, inspect. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a big one-handed hammer. Mr. Zap. <laughs> Can I take it off her? Ah, uh, I can't write. Can I... How do I... Oh, maybe because she's not properly in my party yet. Let's see. Weapon, mixed, mode, aggressive, uh, medium. What are her skills? She's wearing mechanics overalls. The oil-stained overalls tell you Pavati works hard, but the goggles tell you she values safety. She looks cool. Yeah, I like her. Let's see. Healthy, no perks available. Behavior, skills. Persuade, lockpick, engineering. Overload. Pavati slams her hammer down, creating a blast wave that shocks enemies and stuns auto-mechanicals. Knockout. Knocks the target to the ground, rendering them unconscious for a few seconds. Stun. Stuns the target, leaving them unable to act for a short time. Hmm. Level 2. Alright. Cool. Well, um, that's probably a good place to leave it for this episode. So, uh, yeah, when next we return, we will... Wait, is she following me? Do you follow me? Yes, you are following me. Okay. <laughs> uh, when next we return, we will travel with Pavati to... Uh, actually, I'm probably not going to do this main quest straight away. We will probably go hunting for the people that are wanted to get some money, because I feel like we need it. Um, and then after that, we'll... If we've got time, then we'll start the main quest, or continue the main quest. Alright, anyway, yes, thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, <laughs> and uh, love and peace. <laughs>